And you know the address? www.double slash 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 you ain't dead yet. <laughs> as much as the incident that went down between Will Smith and Chris Rock at the Oscars was shocking, what is even more shocking is that the incident was actually predicted severally in the past. So who made these predictions? And what did they say exactly? Sean Wayans seemingly predicted the future of the viral Oscars 2022 moment, when Will Smith casually strolled up on stage and smacked the Everybody Hates Chris creator for making a bald joke about Jada Pinkett Smith way back at the 2000 MTV VMAs. Sean's brother, Marlon Wayans, resurfaced a clip of Sean impersonating a trash-talking rock at the Millennium Music Awards show. The two-and-a-half-minute clip above features an ending that is eerily similar to Sunday's violent Oscar night debacle. Man, not to kick a brother when he's down, but we predicted this sh exactly. Marlon49 posted on social media alongside a clip of his bro cracking up the crowd. The scary movie star continued, when art imitates life, then life actually happens. Sh we were way ahead of our time. Hashtag, these just jokes, let's laugh again. The now viral clip features Sean rocking a cream-colored suit and cracking brutal jokes about the all-star audience. As the little man actor strolled back and forth across the stage, he called out celebs such as Britney Spears, Jay-Z, Destiny's Child, lawyer Johnny Cochran, and Diddy. Amused fans across social couldn't help but notice the similarities from 2000. And alas, 22 years later, always been ahead of y'all time, one user agreed on Marlon's post. Not Marlon Wayans predicting the slap. I'm weak, another joked on Twitter. One viewer chimed in, Will Smith was laughing his ass off on this too. One wrote, life is truly full circle, with someone adding, Sean sound just like Chris Rock. Meanwhile, Marlon discussed the Oscars altercation with people during the Vanity Fair Oscar party. He told the publication he has known Rock since he was 14 and Smith since he was 20. The King Richard actor has always been such a classic dude, Marlon said, and I love them both. He then continued to say, Chris Rock, he's always Chris Rock. You've got to expect that from Chris Rock. And sometimes when you're best friends, worse things happen. And I wish it didn't happen. Hope they seek out and work it out. Another prediction was made by a fan over six years ago. The Twitter user with the name Jason wrote a tweet about the recent altercation in 2012. The tweet read, Will Smith has to punch Chris Rock in the face. He has no choice. At the time, this tweet didn't gain much attention. But six years later, after the incident at the Oscars that caused a social media frenzy, the tweet went viral. While it was technically a slap and not a punch, it's clear that tension has been building between Rock and the Smiths for a while. In fact, Jason was likely referring to a joke Rock made while hosting the illustrious evening in 2016. At the time, the comic clipped about the actress not attending as a protest in line with hashtag Oscars so white. Jada says she's not coming, protesting. I'm like, ain't she on a TV show? Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. I wasn't invited. Oh, that's not an invitation I would turn down, he said. And though Jada publicly laughed it off at the time, it doesn't seem like it was forgotten. Rock seemed to strike a deeper chord with Pinkett Smith this time around, him jokingly calling her G.I. Jane after she publicly opened up about struggling with alopecia has been seen as an uncalled for blow by many. As if this is not shocking enough, Will Smith also seems to have predicted the incident just a few hours prior to the show. Posting to social media before the illustrious award ceremony started, Smith wrote, Me and Jada Pinkett Smith got all dressed up to choose chaos. His Instagram post now has close to 2 million likes, with Smith himself commenting two hours later saying, You can't invite people from Philly or Baltimore nowhere. This aged amazingly, athlete Rachel Anna Mary Demita rightly pointed out, and choose chaos you did, a fan wrote. Other fans are saying that the incident was predicted by The Family Guy Show. In a video originally posted to Twitter by Yostin Teja, Family Guy protagonist Peter Griffin can be seen angrily running up the aisle of a packed auditorium towards an unseen individual behind a microphone. 
drawn from the perspective of the person behind the mic. The clip ends with Peter punching said individual in a response that's not entirely dissimilar to that of Smith at the Oscars, although Smith chose to slap rather than punch rock. The video has now been viewed over 1.5 million times online, with many fans claiming it effectively predicted Smith's reaction. Journalist Deji Farami was among those to tweet out the video, writing, Family Guy predicted the Will Smith slap. Elsewhere, a Twitter user shared the clip in the immediate aftermath of the incident, asking, Anyone else have this Family Guy bit flashback for them as well? A second Twitter user posted the video writing, Family Guy always predicts things, with another agreeing that Family Guy predicted it first. Meanwhile, some fans were in shock at the eerie similarities, with one particular fan commenting, Holy sh! Family Guy predicted that Will Smith would punch Chris Rock. Another prediction of the incident was made by an Australian author. In a lengthy op-ed for the Saturday paper, Christos Tiolkas, author of 2008 novel The Slap, in which a man controversially reprimands his friend's son by slapping him at a social gathering, suggested that the ceremony had become boring in recent years. The article opened with the line, Does anyone really care about the Oscars anymore? Tiolkas went on to question whether anyone in Australia watches the ceremony live, adding, The assumption is that we are all watching it streamed, on the phone or on the laptop. The sense of occasion is diminished. The very form is outdated. Twitter users were quick to point out the irony of the article after millions viewed the incident, which will forever be remembered as one of the most scandalous live TV moments of all time. Also in the article, Tsiolkas wrote, Even the controversies have become boring. Before finishing his piece with the words, Maybe some things about the Oscars will never change. He concluded by saying, It would be nice to be proved wrong. One viewer posted the article online to highlight the irony, writing, So we're meant to believe that Christos Tiolkas, the guy who wrote The Slap, published an article two days before this year's Oscars, saying that even today's controversies are boring? The universe continues making jokes. The irony of the slap author, Christos Tiolkas, writing this before the Oscar slap, another wrote alongside the article. During Sunday night's Oscar ceremony, Smith walked on stage and slapped Rock after he joked about Jada's G.I. Jane haircut, referring to the Demi Moore character who famously had a shaved head in the 1997 film. The shocking scene broadcast live around the world stunned both the live audience at the Dolby Theater and TV viewers. After Smith strode out on stage and slapped at Rock with an open right hand, Rock staggered and exclaimed, Wow! Will Smith just smacked the sh out of me! Smith, visibly emotional, walked back to his seat in the audience and shouted, Keep my wife's name out of your effing mouth! The exchange was muted on a delayed telecast in much of the US, but was aired in full to some international audiences. Smith later used his acceptance speech for his first Academy Award to defend storming onto the Oscar stage. He won Best Actor for his portrayal of Richard Williams, the determined father who raised tennis champions Venus and Serena Williams in King Richard. But his first Oscar win was completely overshadowed by the assault, which occurred about 40 minutes before his award was unsealed. Smith was still allowed to make his acceptance speech, and with tears streaming down his face, he made an emotional defense of hitting rock. Love makes you do crazy things, the rapper and actor admitted as he accepted his first Best Actor Oscar. Will issued an apology a day after the show, saying in an Instagram post that he was embarrassed by his actions. Violence in all of its forms is poisonous and destructive, he wrote. My behavior at last night's Academy Awards was unacceptable and inexcusable. Jokes at my expense are part of the job, but a joke about Jada's medical condition was too much for me to bear and I reacted emotionally. I would like to publicly apologize to you, Chris. I was out of line and I was wrong. I'm embarrassed and my actions were not indicative of the man I want to be. There is no place for violence in a world of love and kindness. Smith then went on to say sorry to the organizers and producers of the show. I would also like to apologize to the Academy, the producers of the show, all the attendees, and everyone watching around the world, Smith continued. I would like to apologize to the Williams family and my King Richard family. I deeply regret that my behavior has stained what has been an otherwise gorgeous journey for all of us. The Philadelphia-born actor concluded, I am a work in progress. Sincerely, Will.
Now, I would love to hear from you. Do you actually believe that the incident was predicted? Let us know in the comment section below. And in case you enjoyed this video, you can check out our other video concerning celebrities who came to Smith's defense after the incident. And as always, thanks for watching.